This was one of the scariest moments in Olympics history, but not even a terrifying head injury could stand in the way of one man's Olympic glory. It's been so many years since that happened, and I still get, oh, I remember when you hit your head. Greg Louganis entered the 1988 Olympics in Seoul as the greatest diver on planet Earth. The 28-year-old American had already won two golds at the 84 Games in LA, and he was looking to defend his titles in the 3-meter springboard and the 10-meter platform four years later. But during the preliminary rounds, Louganis' Olympic hopes were thrown into jeopardy. Louganis struck his head on the diving board mid-attempt, suffering a concussion, not to mention a gnarly wound that required multiple stitches. It's one of the most shocking incidents ever at an Olympics, and it's a moment that Louganis will forever be associated with. I think that I think the reason why people remember that is because when it happened, it was so unexpected and there was actually a visceral response. It was like, oh my God, you know, and, it, and it's almost like it burned that image in their, in their brains. And that's, I think, the reason why everybody remembers that. While Luganis' injury was justifiably scary, he refused to let it define his performance at those games. On his very next qualifying dive, Luganis earned a high score to advance to the finals. And once there, he was his usual dominant self, clinching a second straight gold medal in the three meter springboard by a total of 25 points over his nearest competitor. He also successfully defended his gold in the 10 meter platform. For an amazing comeback in the face of a head injury, ABC's Wide World of Sports named him Athlete of the Year. And of course, what everybody remembers is me hitting my head at the 88 Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea. Fortunately, it was prelims. So I hit my head in the prelims on my ninth dive. I had two more dives after that. And so I had to come back and, uh, and I, was, I made the finals. And then the next day, competing in finals, I just kept getting stronger and stronger and I ended up winning. Years later, conversations around Luganis' head injury took on a second life after he publicly came out at the 1994 Gay Games and published an autobiography announcing to the world that he was HIV positive. Some people, including prominent members of the IOC, criticized Luganis for not disclosing his HIV status immediately after his injury, given that other Olympians were using the same pool. Luganis himself said he was paralyzed with fear in the moments immediately after his injury. However, health officials quickly put the hysteria to rest. They said Luganis' blood would have been diluted by thousands of gallons of chlorine water and thus posed no risk to fellow divers. Greg Luganis' head injury at the 1988 Olympics was initially terrifying, then redemptive, and even later, controversial. It's arguably defined the diver's legacy more than his five Olympic medals. But in the years since, Luganis has taken the incident in stride. And it took a while. When I was first on the speaking circuit and, and they showed that, I would look away and not watch that. I didn't really want to see that. Uh, but now I kind of joke about it. And it's like, yeah, it was a bad day at the office that day. <laughs> I mean, there, there are those moments in sports where, you, you know, they're just so, you know, amazingly unexpected uh, that you know, it, it, it's an image. It's, it's an image that's burned into your memory.